So sometimes you're like, do I want all of my lumberjack fantasies to come true all at once? And then you're like, yes. Yeah. So then you go throw axes at this place, B-A-T-L. It just seems so fun. Uh, first of all, apparently there are more parts to a hatchet than the anatomy of a goat. I mean, look at this. I mean, just in the shaft, it has a belly, a back, and a throat. Suddenly the amount of things you can do with a hatchet just increases exponentially. So um, if I could describe this in a sentence, it is like high intensity dangerous bowling. Because there's lanes, right? And then everyone's in a lane, growing axes. Uh, it's essentially hatchet target practice. And it's, uh, it's fun as shit. You know, I wore plaid because as a millennial, right? I can't not dress for the occasion. Uh, you start with a little training thing, and it's all about how to transfer your weight into the axe. Turns out it's very much about the rolling back and forth, transferring the weight. You're not using your arm, you're using your whole body. And uh, if you align your whole body and then you choose the right release point, which should be right between your eyes and the target, then the axe should fly pretty straight and hit the target. Sounds easy, right? I mean, obviously it's, yeah, it's a little more complicated than that. But uh, that's, that's the basics. You have one foot in front of the other, you lean way back, and then you pull forward, push all your weight into the axe, throw it, your arms follow through, and the axe theoretically spins into the target. Boom! So uh, I'm gonna go throw some hatchets. <laughs> All right, tonight on uh, Lumberjacks R Us, we have uh, competitive. Mike and Rebecca, first throw. Oh, watch your toes, watch your toes. I need a third of going Viking battle tries. Valhalla! I thought I had this. Apparently, it's, there's a trick to it. Oh, well, it's a good time. So this is interesting. As the axes continue to hit the wood, the staff take a water bottle and spritz down the wood because the water makes it softer, also makes it sort of expand and tighten up over the axe holes, and just makes things last longer in general. So if you're setting this up in your backyard, get ready to have a spritz gun. That's good, Mike. <laughs> 